Hello everybody, it's time for another Putty Chat. I'm Pudding, and I'll be chatting with you today. Hello my lovelies! I hope everyone had a good Halloween, all things considered. Um, usually I have a plan, or like something I want to do, but I had a hard time planning this time around. Um, so I didn't really do anything too spooky, but I was able to hang out with some friends, and my partner and I actually went to, we went to this real cute, um, area that had these, like, the Korean corn dogs, where they put, like, the potatoes on the outside, and apparently you're supposed to have it with, like, ketchup and sugar, so we had that, and it was actually super yummy. You wouldn't think ketchup and sugar would be super yummy, but it was. I guess because ketchup's already quite sweet on its own. But yeah, it was pretty good. Um, but when I was out, <laughs> I found myself transfixed on journals. There was just, we went to like an art store and then we went to a stationery shop. And it was just all these different journals. And they had like nice binding and like different pages. And there was actually, um, I can't remember exactly the brand, but my sister got me uh, a sketchbook from them. It's a company that, like, uses recycled paper, I think, or, like, sustainable paper, and they remake, like, classic book covers. So the one I have is, um, the book of Purple Fairies, and it has, like, gold foil on it. It's so pretty, but I, I just thought it was something you had to order, but actually this one shop carried a bunch of, like journals and sketchbooks and even like a pencil case with that and i was just like Ugh. i was floored and i really wanted to just oh if i could have picked up if i could have bought everything i touched i would have been so happy but <laughs> i i i can't justify that i couldn't justify that i actually didn't do a lot of shopping that day but i feel as fulfilled if i'm like browsing because I have this thing, I don't know if it happens to everyone else, but I have this thing where, like, if I see a set of something, I think it looks really nice all together, even if I only like, like, one or two pieces of the set. But then if I only buy one or two pieces after I go home, I think it's because I've seen so many things or so many things that excited me, I assumed that I bought more. So when I, like, go home and I, like, see my purchases and I see I only had, like, two parts of the set, even though they're my favorite, I'm like, hmm, kind of sucks I don't have the set. Which is really weird. Don't you think? Like, why would I not be satisfied with getting my favorite bits of the set? I don't want the other ones. Why do I want to see them all together? Is that like our collective, like, collector monkey brain? Or is that like capitalism seeping into my daily life? Also, Shopping being a hobby is, like, wild. I know it's not a new concept, but, like, recently I've just been thinking, like, wow. Shopping, which is, like, acquiring things, which is, like, collecting, which is an inherent trait that humans have, I believe. Um, it's, like, a pastime to shop? Isn't that weird? Like, what? Is that so capitalist? But I guess I shouldn't say that as a content creator who wants people to consume what I make. <laughs> Oopsie. Well, no, I... <laughs> I kind of talked myself into a corner. Anyways, stationary. Whoa. Um, I don't know if it's just because I've started to be on, like, Instagram more often, but, like... I just want to collect, I don't journal, I don't, well, I try to journal, but I'm using, like, an old book from, like, high school. I'm not, I didn't, like, go out to specifically buy, like, a, uh, like, 300-pound cold-pressed notebook with, like, dotted paper and stuff, but, like, God, I kind of be wishing I did. <laughs> I don't know, it's funny, but that got me into, like, wanting to do like a cartridge ink pen or like refillable like ink pens 
And then that got me into like, ooh, maybe I want a glass tip pen. Which, because um, the corporate overlords are always watching us, I started getting um, like targeted, recommended um, stationery videos on YouTube. And it's like this one shop called like Jet Pens that they like sell like stationery stuff and they're like, well, they sell, like, stationary stuff, but they're like, ooh, teehee, we have Japanese stuff, like the Hobonichi Tencho, whatever. I see it, like, every year on New Year's on Instagram, where, like, people are, like, foaming at the mouth, like, I, can, I got my Hobonichi, ah, and I'm like, it's just a, it's just a cute book to, like, plan your day in. You can get one at the dollar store, and I get one at the dollar store. But then I turn around and have stationary envy. I do have lots of stickers and I do have lots of post-it notes. But that's, is it enough? Is it enough? No, it's not enough. Why do I want to hoard nice looking paper and then not use it? Tell me that. Tell me that. Why do I want to do that? Hmm? That's all I have to say about that today. Um, yeah, so I guess my takeaway is collecting stuff you like is good. Hoarding is bad. And stuff shouldn't cost so much money. Okay, love you. <laughs>